Ah, hello. Welcome to uh, chilling while I learn how to sew. No, chatting while I learn how to sew. <laughs> Today, I wanted to get my sewing machine back out. You guys, I'm just editing this video. Spoiler alert, don't worry if you don't sew. I come up with a uh, no sew, gluing only method about halfway through the video. I'll put the timestamp here if you just want to jump past the sewing part. I didn't enjoy the sewing part as much as I thought I would, so, 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 so. There's a gluing method too, so. Okay, bye. I have a little project that I want to try, and it's funny because I thought it was adorable, and our younger daughter walks by the computer, and she kind of looked, and she goes, oh my gosh, Mom, those are so cute. Ooh, are you making those? Can you make one for me? Ah, yes, yes, I can. Let's just get right to the project, and I'll explain what I'm doing or what I've kind of figured out. Hopefully, it'll work, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, so moving on. You guys, how cute are these? They're little bookmarks, like little teacup bookmarks. I have quite a few of my close friends and family that who just love to sit and cozy up with a good book and a cup of tea, or at least that's what I hope that they get to do. <laughs> but anyway, so I thought these were adorable, and let's get into making them. I am going to kind of do like a batch put together, let's say. Decided to make a few of them because I figure I'll give them out. I want to maybe keep one for myself, but I don't really care if I do or not. So I'm going to batch prepare. How's that? So I made this little template out of a scrap piece of cardboard. I actually just traced the bottom of my bubbly water can just to make the bottom part of the cup and then just kind of sketch the top and the handle. But it ended up working out quite well. Now looking back on it, and if I had to planned this out a little bit better, <laughs> um, I should have probably made two templates or not cut the first one apart. But regardless, it worked out just fine. Now, because I was just making do with what I had here at home, which was that fancy material, well, I say fancy, the patterned material, I didn't really have any felt on hand or any that I thought would work. So I just found an old pair of track pants that have been sitting around waiting to be donated. And I just used that material as like an in-between piece to kind of make it a thicker body of a little teacup because the patterned material was very thin. So I want to take this little cup shape and do uh, definitely four of them. So yeah. Oh, and this little tea bag guy. I'm going to do a couple of those, four of those as well. So like I say, you guys, I'm just tracing this on here, trying to get a bunch of little middle bits for the actual little teacup because the material that I did get online was very thin. So I thought this could bulk it up a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. This is that material here, and I don't know you guys, it's so thin, but I think it's gonna do the trick. Once I've finished, I don't know about the whole sewing process though, because it is so thin, I'm not sure. But we'll uh, see how this goes. I don't know, There's I, I have hope that they're gonna be cute. <laughs> You guys, it was right about here where I stopped and looked at this thing and thought, hmm, what am I even doing? I had no clue. I was just in the moment. I was just experimenting. I've never sewn anything this little before. So I was just kind of doing it and thinking I could probably walk somebody through it that knew how to sew. Again, this is not a tutorial and none of my sewing videos will be. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm having a hard time with this little handle. And when I say little, it's like so finicky. I feel like I might need to hand sew it. Do I really want to do that though? Focus. See how this little channel here and this little channel, I might sew those onto the actual piece of felt if I can get my fingers around it. I have this little pokey tool so I don't get my finger, but I feel like this is the smallest thing I would have ever sewn on a sewing machine. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, honestly. Um, I need to get the piece of material 
sewn to this little shape. Me, I don't know how the heck I'm gonna do this. This comes to worse, I can always hide any imperfections with this, maybe. No, I don't know. I'm kind of now regretting my whole life. <laughs> see what we got oh yes perfect i can remember my oma now so she used to sit in the kitchen and like sew up a storm and of course it interests me can So now I've got it all stitched around the edge. I am just gonna go for the gusto, maybe, and hope for the best, and continue. And hopefully it'll look like a handle when I'm done. I think I did it. <laughs> I did it. Is that going to be too huge? No, I think it's going to be perfect. Going here, go all the way down, go all the way around as close to the edge as I can get. Come to here and then go maybe along the bottom here and then stop. And then I'm going to put this inside here and then I'll close it up. <laughs> I don't know that I'll ever be able to recreate this. It's only 9.30 by the way. I'm just gonna sew along the top and call it a day. I don't know. I was gonna put the cream with it, but it just doesn't want to cooperate. So let's just tuck this in here. I'm gonna try to get it as close to the little edge as absolutely possible, but it could be an issue. I'm actually just gonna hand stitch this on. I feel like that's gonna be my best bet to uh, accomplish this and this oh you know what I should probably stitch this you guys I'm just going for broke here so I've just kind of fitted it in here as best as I could this is going to be here and then when I I'm going to start here and then I'm going to go around and then I'll tuck it in when I need to so wish me luck because I'm going to need it I feel <laughs> look at how wonky this looks <laughs> My daughter's gonna love it. She just loves this quirky kind of stuff. I could put it on that side. But okay, I think this might be okay. Now I've got to cover this little guy. Not sure how I'm gonna do that, but I gotta do that too. And I'm so taking some of this thread off of here so I don't have to rethread it. <laughs> to the little tea bag guy here but I'm gonna be honest with you um I just don't know you guys if I want to do another one like this this is kind of painstaking first of all I gotta turn the heat up in this house it's freaking cold <laughs> but which is weird because it's sunny outside but I got really chilly last night so felt would have been the way to go you guys a hundred percent with this project looking back on it, but I don't have any felt that is applicable. <laughs> Just sew this rectangle. I sewed it to the bottom of that piece of felt and then I sewed the top. I don't know why, I think it was just easier in my head. And then I went near, near, near. And so I am literally just going to cut and cut and cut. And I'm gonna stick the little piece of string on there and call it a day because, yeah, I'm done. This wasn't as enjoyable as I thought it was gonna be. 
We're just gonna sew along the tea bag tail into the tee without making a big wrinkle. Okay, let's try this. Whew, this is, this is just, this is just, yeah. Relax, Lisa, go back now. Whoa, slow down. Hey, you guys, so <laughs> I have a very wonky tee wonky but that's just how it's happening uh, now I need to measure a book funny story about this book too I was at the thrift store I was looking for a book and I'm like oh, that's a different way spelling Graham hmm. Hmm. and Simpson that's like the s is a fairly big section I saw it three different times in the, the s section so I was like hey I need to buy it and it was who I paid up it was $2.99 I haven't even started it yet what's to do and then that sticks out it must be like this, and then you can see where you're at. You know what, I wanna sew it right to it, so I'm just gonna get my pin, because if I don't, then this stuff unravels pretty easily. Okay, if I can, it's bugging me. If I could cut this, like sew it a little closer, and then cut it, because, okay, it's not the best. <laughs> so I'm literally just gonna take some glue and stick it underneath without getting it all over the freaking string. That would be great. I feel like my next ones that I'm gonna make or next one that I'm going to make, I'm gonna glue it instead of sew it with the sewing machine because that was far too, I don't know what, that was just annoying. Okay, you guys, I am doing same project. I'm just totally switching gears, putting it in a reverse and turning down a different street. <laughs> um, I am not using my sewing machine anymore. It was way too fiddly. The material, I really went back to the picture and I really looked closely. The whole thing I think is felt. Again, I just, I want to make it my own. I don't, I liked the idea that someone had given me online, but I don't want to use their exact thing and copy them exactly. So making my version, I went to the dollar store. I was able to suss out two packages of felt. There was eight pieces in each. I did still want to use the fun material, but I want to have something a little bit more firmer and has like a bit of rigidity to it that it's easier to work with. I'm not using my sewing machine. I'm just using this glue. I got, I got this in the States, but I have seen them at the dollar store. I had another one and I knew it was empty or it was like as a rock and so it does last a really long time let's get into the same project but just like i say switching gears <laughs> put it in reverse and turn down a different street <laughs> ending up at the same place with the same product <laughs> um so i'm going to show you that version and hopefully that'll make a little bit more sense and i noticed that there's something up with my camera that like when i'm filming low it's kind of distorting the picture so i'll work on that too <laughs> Okay, so let's get to the felt one, the gluing one, the one that's probably easier for people that don't have a sewing machine or don't want to learn how to sew. <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> I've got 16 pieces of this stuff. Now it's thicker, but it's still kind of see-through. So I'm trying to noodle around if I'm still going to use the same little template. These are the materials that I want to use. There's this one here and there's this one here. Yeah, I don't know yet, but I want to try to pair off some of these colors because I want to make them a little funkier, I feel. So I am using the same template. I am just literally tracing it on to all the different materials and also holding the entire thing together and tracing it onto the felt for the actual middle part. I've decided not to use the original cutout template that I had made. It, this felt seemed to do the job. I don't know about you but when I do little crafts like this I need to batch craft which means if you don't know already it just means kind of getting a bunch of them together and making it like a little assembly line because when I make these little things I have people in mind to give them to so it's nice to have a few of them on hand as well yeah and for the time it takes to cut out the material and actually put it all together it doesn't take long when I'm using this gluing method the sewing method forget it I'm out <laughs> I'm not doing that again but this seems to be a whole lot easier and anybody could do it and they're really stinking cute at the end where do you see 
All right. I'm almost done. Totally trying out new jeans, too. <laughs> jeans are something you have to actually really like to commit to them. Am I right? I'm going to actually use this. I thought that the lighter material in the felt, I just thought it would be nice for the tea, but it's too peachy. So I'm going to use this, not this material. I find that's a bit too dark for tea. Coffee is perfect, but not tea. Um, I'm going to use that instead for the inside for the tea. So let's try to figure this out. We need it to go underneath here. Let's think about this. Okay, so I weirdly cut two of them out of the material for when I was making the original teacup. So this just wasn't meant to be. I'm just going to trace this a few more times onto this material. That way I have the shape before I glue it onto here. How stinking cute. And then I'll glue it all on and I think it'll be perfect. And then I make the little tea bag. This is way easier than the other thing and a lot more enjoyable. I was enjoying the sewing, but it was just way too fiddly. So, and then I'll just show you how to glue it all together now. You know what you guys i was just zipping along having a great old time and i kept forgetting to stick the little tea bag string underneath the tea like <laughs> uh, not a big deal because you can just peel the material back carefully put a little bit more glue and then put the string down and then glue it back down but i i don't know i must have did it like three times oh dear <laughs> I knew that once the material dried, after the glue dried, it would be easier to trim because I'm telling you guys, this print and the solids, not the felt, um, I got them off of Amazon and let me just tell you, they are the thinnest material I think I've ever felt before. Like I can't even describe how thin the material is. Like totally wouldn't buy it again. Um, unless I had something like this, like a gluing craft or a decoupage. Ooh, wait a minute. I could do decoupage with this stuff. It is flat thin. It's like paper thin. Thin, thinner than paper actually well you guys I want to say thank you so much for watching my shenanigans <laughs> it started out as a full tilt sewing video guns a blazing and then I totally had to pivot because I just couldn't deal with it it was too finicky but the end result turned out pretty cute and I've already given a couple away and they loved them it was a nice couple of crafting days we have so much going on in our primary ensuite upstairs that I just needed some time away <laughs> I needed to kind of like regroup my thoughts and there's a lot of planning that goes into rebuilding an entire bathroom <laughs> if you guys haven't caught those few videos of this little mini series i will link those below but in the meantime i guess happy crafting <laughs> i'll see you guys later thanks again for watching and if you'd kindly consider subscribing we would mucho appreciate it <laughs> see you later guys bye So I think one between us instead. This sconce is gonna have to be a huggy sconce.